Hello everybody, this is Captain Jerwa, I bring you another Clash of the Captains battle, which is, if you don't know, which you probably don't, is a series where I challenge other captains, or people who have captain in their name on PO, and challenge them to a battle just to see which captain will prevail. And yeah, this has been a long time since I've done one of these, which I apologize for. It's also been a long time since I have narrated P.O. So we're just going to see how this is going to go. But anyway, I just lead off with my Scarf Semiseer, my Fatty, and he leads off with Rosalia, which is perfect because I can pressure that thing out. We do see later that this thing has Toxic Spikes, so it's very good that I got the favorable lead matchup. But anyway, he switches into Torkoal, I'm like, ah, uh, well that Fire Blast miss kind of sucked because it would have done a decent amount, and it does 31%, but it turns out he is Smash Call. I'm like, oh crap, this is not good. So I switch into Shuckle, thinking like, alright, I can take that, but I'm like, well crap, I can't really do anything in return. <laughs> so I just decide to eat a Flamethrower and go for Toxic, which, uh, it's not the worst thing just because now I have some residual damage and now I'm just switching around into my slow poke, the best physical wall out there in NU. And I switch back into Fatty, and since it is scarfed, I can outspeed and kill with Focus Blast as he goes for HP Grass. Now he goes into a level mole, I'm like, oh, this thing. And I decided to just send in Shuckle because I want to get my rocks up, and this thing, now that's taken damage, is not going to be too useful. And I could have gotten a Toxic off there, but of course he flinches me. And funnily enough, that Warfall didn't even kill. But then it, then again, it is an Alola Mole, and it is a Shuckle. But now I go into my Life Orb Rock Polish Torterra, and I'm like, I'm just going to hit something really, really hard with this freaking wood hammer. Everything is just hit so hard, except for that Rosalia, obviously. But now he switches into Girder, or she. Uh, and I'm like, alright, well, that's okay. I might outspeed, but I'm just going to go into the best physical wall. Slowpoke, because I don't want to take too much more recoil there, and Slowpoke can just wall this girder cold. And I thought she would want to switch because uh, Slowpoke and girder, but she has knockoff, so she, I believe, is the uh, physically defensive set, but it's okay because I just bring in my fatty, just go for some nice fire blasts here. Now that I am not scarfed, I can switch moves, so if she wanted to bring in her Alola Mola, I could have hit that with a grass knot, but now. Go for Fire Blast just to weaken this Armado, because it is pretty annoying, and it still does unfortunately get Stealth Rocks up, but that's okay, because I'm just going to go for some more Fire Blasts here. I was thinking I might want to put Specs on this thing. Oh yeah, by the way, this team was made by Bob and Fishy. I didn't really get to go over that. Um, this team was made by Bob and Fishy. It is a pretty interesting team. Uh, and yeah, that's about all I'm going to say about it. You're going to see all the sets in a minute, except for the sock there, which is sub select, which is pretty interesting. But now, so Little Mole is just wishing and protecting here, and I'm getting pretty annoyed because Shuckle couldn't get a Toxic off on it, so I can't wall it. I'm like, well, nothing really else has Toxic, so I'm just going to uh, freaking paralyze this thing, and I don't really care that I'm Toxic because, I mean... It's not like I'm going to beat this thing one-on-one -on -one anyway, and I don't want too much else to take Toxic. And now, that gives me a free switch into my War Tor- not War Tortle, to my Torterra here. So I can get a Rock Polish up, and then basically just do massive damage to anything on her team, because all she has left is a little Mola. Clam Pearl, Rosalia, and I believe an Armaldo. I'm not quite sure on the fourth one there. But I'm just going to set up a Rock Polish here as she switches into Rosalia. I thought, you know, Rosalia, Roserade isn't known for its physical defense, so this probably can't take this Earth Power, or not Earth Power, Earthquake. But it actually does take it, because I think Rosalia, I think people invest in physical bulk in Rosalia. I'm not quite sure about that. I've never actually used one myself, so... Yes. Anyway, though, I kill that Rosalia, and as she sends in a little Mola, I'm like, all right, this thing is just going to get destroyed by this Life Orb Wood Hammer, except it doesn't get destroyed. That is an extremely powerful move. Life Orb, Torterra has Monsters Attack, and that little Mola took it, of course. But now, I'm just going to bring in my Giles, my other banded, extremely powerful physical attacker, and just go for a nice head smash there. He did outspeed me or go for protect there, but doesn't matter because he got paralyzed and I just kill that thing, which is great because that thing was basically the most annoying thing on her team. So, 
Yes, that thing is dead, and now Giles is just gonna sit in here and hit things with his head. He loves just waving his head around and hitting things with it. Now she sends in Clam Pearl, I'm like, alright, outspeed, dead. Clam Pearl is down, and I believe her last Pokemon here is Armaldo, but I think she might just forfeit anyway. I can't quite remember. Yeah, it's Armada, which is just going to die. So that's a three Pokemon Rampardos mini sweep there. Of course, when I try to make an actual team around Rampardos, I can't get it to work. But uh, yeah, anyway. So hope you guys enjoyed this Clash of the Captains battle. I hopefully will upload more of these soon. But uh, yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this battle, and I'll see you next time. Peace.